Hi everybody. Uh, let me, yes, I am Cody Webb. Uh, let me introduce myself a little bit. Uh, I look like a man is at feelings. It's true in more ways than one. I'm often found on sandwiches. I'm available in a variety of colors, ranging from white to off-white. I should never be taken to the beach. And I have been linked to several outbreaks of salmonella poisoning in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The only reason that mayonnaise bit is in, uh, not the mayonnaise bit, no, the whole thing's a mayonnaise bit. The only reason that salmonella bit is in there is because I read the entire Wikipedia page on mayonnaise, and that was the only funny bit I could get out of it. Like, my jokes may not be funny, but they're well researched. And by that I mean I read the entire history of mayo at 2.30 in the morning and wanted to feel like my time was well spent. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't do drugs. <laughs> oh, good, you can tell. Uh, I don't do drugs, not because I don't want to. Uh, I just still want drugs to be cool for everyone else. I don't want to ruin drugs' reputation. Like, I, if you realize that if I were to ever do cocaine, it would be through a crazy straw. You realize that, right? Yeah, that's the level we're dealing with here. And if I ruin cocaine, parties are done. Parties are over. Nobody's going to go to parties anymore. And I've never been invited to a party, but I've heard good things. <laughs> so I feel like I shouldn't have that on my resume, that I ruined the concept of parties. <laughs> I'm being very selfless here. Um, I feel like I'm a weird choice for a whimsy show, but... Uh, I consider myself to be one of the least whimsical comedians in Eugene, but uh, I don't know. I, I, it's, it's true though. I can't even pretend to have things about me that are whimsical. I was at an open mic recently where the host gave me a topic to talk about, and the topic he gave me was astrology, which, yeah, let's give the guy with the, with the degree in math and science about, let's give him the option of talking about astrology at a bar in Eugene, Oregon. I'm sure that'll go over well. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I'm sorry, I can't even pretend to think that I, that I enjoy astrology or I believe in it. I mean, come on, you guys. You guys actually believe in planets? <laughs> come on! We all know planets we just made up Mars so that way we could distract Elon Musk. That's the only reason. It's the only reason we keep up this charade. Uh, I'm not good in stressful situations. Oh good, you can tell that too. Uh, I'm not good at comforting people either. Like, I'll say the right thing, but for the wrong situation. Like, I was talking to my friend Deborah after her attempted suicide, and somehow during the conversation I ended up saying, don't worry, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Which is not the right thing to say. Do not try this at home. <laughs> but, so, we had a bit of a falling out after that. Didn't really talk to each other much. But we ended up, you know, running into each other a few years later, and she must have gotten over it because there was this chemistry between us that wasn't there before. So, to make a long story short, we go back to my place and it doesn't go well. Uh, it's just, I have no idea what I'm doing. It doesn't last very long. It is a mess. But Deborah, she's a trooper. She gets up, puts her clothes on, walks over to the door, looks at me and says, don't worry, it's the thought that counts. And then I never saw her again. Now, if you're wondering if that story's true, of course not, who the fuck is named Deborah? Do you think I'm dating some 48 year old woman who works in HR? No, I have standards. I may not look like it, but I have standards. The fact she was named Deborah should have been a dead giveaway from the very start. Also, the fact I had sex, but mostly the Deborah thing. Um, I fell for a John Stamos death hoax once, and even 
and I didn't realize he was still alive until I saw him four years later in a yogurt commercial. <laughs> and even then, my first thought wasn't, wow, John Stamos is alive. My first thought was, wow, where did they get all this footage of John Stamos eating yogurts? <laughs> In my mind, the most reasonable course of action was that John Stamos liked to secretly record himself eating yogurt on camera, didn't tell anyone, died, his estate found it, waited the appropriate amount of time for everyone to mourn the death of John Stamos, which is apparently four years, <laughs> and then sold that footage to some yogurt company. I don't remember which one. Given it's John Stamos, it was probably Oikos or some shit. Some Greek yogurt, I don't know. I think it's weird how basketball and baseball have the exact opposite approach to women playing their sports. With basketball, women wanted to play, and they said, sure, we're just gonna make the ball a bit smaller since you've got, you know, slightly smaller hands. But the people in charge of baseball, when they got asked, they talked for a suspiciously long amount of time. And then the main man stood up and said, all right, but on a few conditions. One, we're gonna call your sports softball so no one thinks you're manly. <laughs> Two, we're gonna start a rumor that all softball players are lesbians. <laughs> Three, we're gonna have you throw upside down. I don't know what that means, you figure it out. <laughs> and four, here's a grapefruit, that's the ball now. Go fuck yourselves. All right, thank you very much. I've been Cody Webb. Give it up for Sienna Tay, who's all a great audience. I gotta continue talking because she's taking longer than I